Tonight, city leaders and top law enforcement officials tried to calm the nerves of students and their parents. That after a wild weekend near campus. Violent groups caused chaos and squads swarmed Dinkytown early Sunday morning. Now police are making changes before this weekend's big U of M commencement. Our Kirsten Mitchell just got out of a packed safety meeting. She joins us now from Dinkytown. Hi there, Kirsten. Hi, Amelia. It was a full house with students, parents, business owners, and parents. We did learn about some new safety measures, including this camera now positioned outside this hotspot, Frank and Andrea's. So someone, we're told, is watching it 24 hours a day to make sure big groups aren't gathering and getting out of control. Thursday night, we had people crawling up these stairs, and these stairs leads to our roof and windows to like our bedrooms and bathrooms. Ava and her roommates called police three times last weekend. And they were crawling on top of the roof of the varsity as well. As crowds of teenagers wreaked havoc in Dinkytown. I have a roommate who bartends at Burrito Loco. And every night I'm like, oh my God, please make it home safe. Students like Luca are feeling uneasy. We saw plenty of uh, people just loitering, gathering in large groups on the sidewalks right in front of Frank and Andrea's, checking car doors, um, just wreaking havoc. They both went to a community safety meeting where Minneapolis police, the U of M, council members and others fielded questions from the audience. The university is trying to put as many resources as we can into the neighborhood. Uh, we want to continue our education uh, about being safe, how to be safe. Moving forward, they're increasing police presence, adding lighting and implementing a traffic plan to disrupt activity since most of the teens involved in last weekend's mayhem drove in from the suburbs. We will continue to have an enhanced police presence presence and respond immediately uh, and continue to cite cite persons and arrest them when appropriate. Honestly, if it was just a pedestrian zone, that would help a lot and then just more police presence around. Meeting organizers say it'll take more than police to create change, but also the help of the community. We're not going to solve all our problems tonight. We're just learning what the situation is. And they also talked more about reintroducing those safety walks and also including more students in those, possibly student athletes as well. That was new tonight. Now, the U does encourage people who do live in Dink Dinkytown that are students to sign up for Dinkytown alerts because those safety alerts don't encompass those areas off campus. Amelia. All right, Kirsten. Thank you.